What's up everybody? It's Ryan on a Friday afternoon. I am working on a project that I thought, hey, you know what? I've got this problem. Maybe I'll share it with everyone else. Um, so here's the deal. If this is a, a disc golf design and um, the inside is the current or this year's um, uh, disc golf scramble. I designed this back in January. Um, but we have all of these old logos from last year and then on the outside is the new logos that are going to take their place pretty much um, either one to one or in fact the problem is I have to add all of these logos. In fact I've already done that but I need to add two more logos so <laughs> I'm going to show you how I did this. Basically I created a segmented polygon and that is the same size as this circle so that I can get the spacing right and figure out where to place these logos in the in the design itself. So here's what I did. Um, I'm going to grab my ellipse tool which is L on your keyboard or over here in the toolbar and holding down shift to constrain it to a perfect circle. Uh, I'm going to get a rough uh, size of the uh, the circle we're going for, there it is. Then I'm going to just cut that and we're going to go over here to the uh, a new artboard and I will paste it in the center of that. Um, let's make sure that we're aligning to artboard, center and center vertically, horizontally and vertically. Um, get some things out of the way. So that is my new circle and now I need to figure out how many logos I need. So I've got the University of Idaho logo here that takes up two spots. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and Teton Communications over here makes twenty-three. So in order to do this, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll show you there's two ways. If, a, if it was an odd number uh, polygon, like I uh, an odd numbered sides to the polygon, um, I'll show you that first and then I'll show you an even numbered version afterwards. So we come over here to the shapes and we grab the polygon. Let's get close to the center and there's the center. We hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and just click once and then type in the number of sides or you can use the arrows. So I need 23. I don't really care about the radius at this point because I'm going to just size it up to something like that. I'm going to take out the uh, the center fill color by hitting the uh, backslash and then I'm going to click on that background circle and we'll give it a fill color that's like pink so that we can see it. So now our polygon in front has a black stroke and it has no fill. We're going to knock that stroke down just so we can see those corners a little. Well, maybe that was a bad idea. Let's leave it, leave it a large fill or a thicker stroke so that we can see those corners as we, as we zoom in. In fact, let's even go one more and change that stroke to like a dark green or a medium green. There we go. Now it looks like a watermelon. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to copy this and paste in front, which is Command v F or Control F. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift to constrain from the center uh, the, the size. So here's another thing I need to figure out where this, how, how deep these segments need to be. So I'm going to cut this, go back to my original artwork, uh, click on that artboard, hit paste in front, scale it so I can get it pretty close to where I need it to be. Maybe that's a little big right there. And then I'll cut it again so it's not in the way. Come back to Artboard 4 and paste it in front again. So now I know it's it's where it needs to be. Um, 
and now I need to make the segments so let's hit the click onto the artboard so we don't have anything in the way we'll click D to set the colors back and I'll grab the line tool which is the uh, other slash or it's up here and you can see the little there you go there's the line segment tool so if you have an odd numbered sides on your polygon you start at the top in the center and if you hold down shift you'll draw a line all the way through that um, and there you have it so I'm going to click V and then select one of the circles and then click it again so that you can see that that line gets thicker there as I click it so that means I'm going from instead of s align to artboard I'm going to align to key object so I'm going to key off my centering for the line on this this other larger polygon so let's do horizontal center and vertical center and now it should be all nice and centered let's make sure it goes right through that center we can do command Y or control Y and yeah you can see that center is the exact same point on the path as it is on the polygon so all right command Y to bring the colors back okay so now I have this line and in order to make copies of it there are two things I could do I could go to my calculator and uh, let's find out 360 degrees because it's a circle and how many uh, segments we have 23 so I could either copy or remember this long number or there's a better way and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the rotate tool we'll double click that and we're going to have preview checked here uh, but we're going to in the the angle field we're going to go 360 divided by 23 and what that's going to do is it's going to do the math for us and so as you can see it rounds it to uh, 15.65 degrees and if I hit OK then it's going to move that line if I hit copy then it's going to make a copy of the line right there where I need it so there we go we'll hit copy now there's something that is in Illustrator that will help you a whole bunch if you have 23 segments of, uh, of lines that you need to copy and duplicate the exact same measurement um, on the rotation copy there um, and it's it it makes a lot of sense but you can't find it anywhere in in the uh, in in the the menus I I can't remember how oh, there it is it's under transform and transform again but if you're thinking about it you're like I I just want to rotate again and so basically if you think of transform again um, then you'll you'll find it that way here's how I remember it um, I want to duplicate the last action that I did so command D to duplicate that makes a lot of sense if you're in uh, Adobe After Effects or some of the other tools if you hit command D it will just duplicate whatever you whatever you just did so let's do that a bunch of times command D do, 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 do all the way around and you'd think we're done but we're not because the next one is if you look down here in the in the bottom we're at a point the next one is going to be this point here which doesn't have a line through it although if we come up to the top it looks like we've met where we need to so I'm gonna continue hitting that and so it, now it's gonna look like you have too many lines but you don't just remember that we're, we're putting the lines we're duplicating the lines so that half of the line as it goes across the polygon hits a corner and so we've got a corner here where the the path intersects with the line and another corner here on the polygon where the path intersects corner vertex whatever you want to call it um, so now is the tricky part how do we get the segments so I'm gonna go to V the selection tool um, and we're gonna select everything except for we don't want that circle in the background so I'm gonna see if I can 
in the command Y, the outline mode, select that. Yeah, I deselected it. Okay, good. Okay. So we're going to do uh, the Shape Builder tool, which is right here. And uh, how I remember is you have a, a bunch of shapes and you're going to shift them, shift M, into something else. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all of these interior segments because we don't need them at all. And basically you just drag through the shape that you want to uh, merge together. So now we can see a little better. It's not as, it's not as difficult to see. So you can see we've got the we've got this segment here and this segment here and I want to combine those two so I'll just drag across using the shape builder and then I'll skip one and as you can see I'm building segments rather than um, leaving the whole polygon a little shortcut in order to easily quick to the hand or quick change to the hand tool you just hold down the space bar and that was how I'm able to drag this around to where I need it to be fairly quickly and easily without moving around and switching over on the toolbars. It's part of the finger dance and if you don't know the finger dance well you should probably learn that. I've got a video on that. It's kind of intriguing and and kind of intense to, to pick it up, um, but it's very helpful. I'm going to switch to the lasso tool so that I can select the, oops, select these outside points of these lines. And I just want to go around the outside of these line segments because then I will select just those outside line segments and if I hit delete twice I can get rid of the whole line both points and I'll just do that until I'm done there one more time oops I bumped into my keyboard and the, uh, the mouse <laughs> I can't drag very well over on this side for some reason okay there we go just a few more and we are done okay now, since nobody wants to see a polygon with that kind of funky shape, uh, funky color, let's select everything else and we'll go back to the default colors. Let's get rid of the inside one. Okay, so now I should have just a bunch of segments, which I do. Now, um, in order to uh, place all my logos in here, I can just copy this and remove this older one or drag all the logos from here over to here and place them where they need to be inside the inside the segments but before I do I promised you uh, something I'm going to group this so I don't lose the shape and just shrink it up and move it out of the way um, when you are working with a polygon that has a, a an even number of sides and you want to do the same thing you want to do make make these uh, make segments out of it um, go ahead and create your polygon and I'll do 22 here just to show you make it nice and big so the difference is as you look at it if you were to go from the center and hold down shift keep it straight and hold down alt to go from the center and you come out past those points you can see that your line is going to be halfway between two vertexes halfway to between two corners of the polygon and you don't want to do that so what I do if I have an even numbered polygon I just remember as I'm drawing my line out to go horizontal through the center and as you can see, it goes intersects at a point and it intersects over here at a point. So that will help you because, let's open the rotate tool and let's do 360 divided by 22 this time. And we'll hit copy. And as you can see, it did that. But since we have a, a point we, the line goes through two points rather than going through a point and a midpoint 
you know, on the on the segment or on the the side of the polygon. You don't have to do the command D as much. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're done. So keep that in mind if you want to do the make a segment like this. Let me uh, copy, paste in front, and as you can see, we can go through the same process. Uh, whoops go through the same process and create um, polygon segments the same way except we just don't have to make as many lines because the uh, the segments don't split because of the uh, the, the even number of, of vertexes which you know that's a cool thing so um, that is pretty much how you do that, um, making segments from a polygon, and I um, hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, I hope to, to hope, hope to help you out in Illustrator, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Thank you.